Hey, what's up, y'all? So, you know, every time I get on this app, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from you men. I don't know any of you all. But now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era. This drizzle, drizzle movement, right? Listen. Any man that's comfortable with a woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand this, you'll do the same with a man. A lot of these men, ladies, are just down low. They just too insecure to come out the closet. You know, because this whole movement is perpetuated by them not really being, you know, for them being in their feminine energy. For them not wanting to be a lead with masculine energy. Because when you're in your masculine energy, there comes responsibility. You don't want the responsibility, so you want to go in your female energy, your feminine energy, talking about you want to live a soft life. You a man. But a lot of you males don't really want the responsibility. So now you want to flip it and try to gaslight women into believing that they supposed to pay your way. Understand it's the same thing that these men are trying to get women to do for them. They will allow a man to do it for the right. Listen, man, you can let them try to shame you. Don't fall for the trope. They do it to every single guy. Trust me. I've been married for 20 years. Uh, well, not quite. 19 and some change. It'll be 20 years, literally in about a month, a month and a half from now. But it doesn't matter who the person is that's delivering the message. You can be light-skinned, dark-skinned, white man, black man, tall, short, skinny, fat, married, unmarried. No matter what happens, they always going to say the same thing when they have nothing else or nothing left to actually combat your point and to hold themselves accountable for the environment that they created. And the fact that the matter is this, let's, let's really bring it back. Cause I'm starting to understand exactly what this soft guy era and this drizzle drizzle is. It started off as actually trolling. And that's the thing that a lot of women is not understanding, or maybe they do understand. And it really doesn't matter because they don't really care to understand. The only thing that they care about is keeping you under duress and in a position to continue to support their lifestyle. And as long as it's legalized prostitution, did I say that? Because it is. It's a form of prostitution. They selling themselves and then they selling it in a form of femininity, which is one of the reasons why when you ask a woman or when that whole conversation was popping off about what you bring to the table, you still hear crickets and you still hear nothing from women to be able to substantiate that is because... They've created an environment where they advocated for equal, but they still want you to simp. And so now what started off as trolling because this whole sprinkle, sprinkle, and they never held that person accountable. Listen, I commend them. I commend the whole sprinkle, sprinkle girl, because what she did is the same thing that Derek Jackson did and that they finessed women in order to do the thing that's not in their best interest and they profited off of it. It's called pimping, pimping. You know what I'm saying? And so what she did was she did her little sprinkle, sprinkle thing. And then the guys trolled and they said, all right, listen, well, if that's the way to, that you want to play it, then they put a label on it like people always do. They called it drizzle, drizzle. And now you see an evolution of it and guys are living a soft, soft guy era. And so what that basically is, and correct me if I'm wrong, make sure y'all let me know inside of the comments. What that basically is, is that why should we or why should they allow for you to be able to use us? to no benefit from us. Now, here's here's the caveat, right? Is that it's a difference between prostitution, which is what I basically see happening in the space today, is that so many women are basically selling themselves uh, and selling their bodies and acting like they're giving you more value. They really not. They don't really add any, any value to your table. For most women, obviously, you're not going to say all, but when we speak, we speak to the majority, not the, not the uh, minority, right? Man, so when you see this happening and you see how this is playing out, if she wasn't shooting with you in a gym in the beginning and helping you build, then why should you sit over here and pay for a woman? Who sold y'all on the idea that y'all just supposed to be out here spending money and paying and supporting women's lifestyle that bring no value to you? If she don't work for you, if she not actually bring in more value as far as a bag or in some way, shape or form going out to get you more business, if... You know what I'm saying? She wasn't shooting you in, with you in a gym and then, you know, 
I think a lot of y'all think that just because y'all get married that you suppose a simp or that's okay, okay for you to now go and spend a whole bunch of money or support her lifestyle. No, women have always worked since the beginning of time in order to bring value into the relationship. And so just because they looking at y'all as a come up and they put a title on it and then, then you get married as a result of it. And then you supposed to go out here and support her lifestyle. She ain't got no kids. She ain't got no responsibility. She just supposed to be there. And then you just supposed to pay for everything. This was a game that was relegated to rich tricks, honestly. You know, that whole pretty woman thing where he take a prostitute off the street and then all of a sudden he dress it up and he put some clothes on it and he remake it. Even though every Tom, Dick, and Harry didn't pay $20, $30, $40, $100 at most in order to be able to trick off on her and get it for free practically. And then he came along and then he made her more and then somehow, some way, her value got even more inflated and... They preach this to you and they beat you in the head with it. And now they beat you in the head with it in social media. And they train the women to look at y'all as tricks and simps. And if you don't do it, now you're not a real man. So you was about to pay for your own self and support yourself. But now you got somebody to build with. But instead of you building with him, you got to pay 100% or you got to pay for her time. So you're tricking. You're basically tricking. If she didn't get it out the mud with you, then what value does she have for you? And so absolutely, positively, I am 100% for guys trolling, number one, and then number two, living that soft, soft guy era. And just because a guy won't trick off on you when he looked to get the most value for himself does not mean that he's gay. But we, come on, we know this. This is the classic, um, if they don't like what you say, then you gay. Or they don't want us, they want each other, or who hurt you. It's just another evolution of it. And so keep doing what y'all doing, 100%. Focus on you. Be selfish uh, because, you know, you can't pour out of an empty cup for the people that actually add value into your life. Be selfish before you be selfless. And make sure you take care of you. Protect yourself. I don't see any of these women. I see zero women. And when I say zero, I mean absolutely positively zero. The balloon pop woman, the black girl that was on a balloon pop show, the Adana girl, and then the white girl, Lindsay Hill. And then I see nobody coming to the to the aid of Trevor Bauer or all of these guys that get out get out of jail on an innocence project and holding women accountable. As a matter of fact, they ban against those women. I see zero people holding that girl accountable. It's literally the biggest story, one of the biggest stories outside of Drake. And, you know, a couple other things that popped off this past week. And zero people are holding her accountable for finesse and demanding $3.6 million trying to defraud this man. But then she just gets to go and no social media posts, no nothing. But they will convict you in the court of public opinion if you a guy. And so absolutely protect yourself. Be careful. Do not. I know a lot of you young guys. It's so easy for y'all to get finesse. It's so easy to be easily influenced and bullied. And the simping and pandering. But what I'm telling you is do not, under any circumstance, let them shame you into letting you trick off and finesse for them and not getting the bag, not being successful. Reserve it for yourself. And just because you get married don't mean that you're not a trick either. And y'all starting to adopt the, the narrative and the philosophy of rich tricks into normal everyday life. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't take the bad habits of these guys with money that like to spend money on women um, that's undeserving of their time and their attention. Now, again, I'm an advocate for being uh, successfully married, and it's the difference between being successfully married and just married. And then I'm also an advocate for just being a good person, whether you're married or not. But I'm not going to advocate for somebody to get, in, get into a marriage or a situation that's not best for them. Never be a step crash dummy. Never allow for a woman to bully you into being something that you don't want to be. And more importantly, you're not gay just because you ain't out here uh, triggering off on these hoes and you living in your soft your soft, soft guy era. Hold it down. Keep doing you. Stay on top of it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, um, hit a like for the algorithm. And then I'm going to see y'all on the other shows. <laughs> Can't wait to see what the comments are. Peace.